let's start the interview. First of all, thank you very much for being a part of my Radio 580. And today, Janita, I have thank you always for having me. your great fan. And when I heard you for the very first time, um, I was mesmerized by your voice. I was like, this person is so talented and she's going to go a long way. And I'm so wow. glad. I am so happy that you have actually come a long way. Thank you. That means so much to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. So let's start. Let's dive in right away. Sure. Okay, wonderful. I have a rapid fire for you. And uh, oh God. Okay. we all know that you are a Canadian artist. Uh, you've been in Brampton. You've been in Canada for many years. And then you made your move to Bollywood. So let's start with uh, some Canadian questions for you. Who's your favorite Canadian? Me. Can I pick myself? Sure. Oh, me? Okay. <laughs> so Janita's favorite is Janita. Okay, wonderful. So Brampton. My cookie favorite too. <laughs> Brampton or Bombay? Okay. So normally I always say Brampton. I'm going to say Bombay only today because my parents are visiting me. So now I feel like Bombay. Canadian singer. Celine Dion? Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. She's the beast of a vocalist. So I'm oh, going to go with she's, her. She's fantastic. Canadian celebrity you hate or love? Justin Bieber. And I had a hate love with him earlier. Like there was a love hate relationship. But now I love. I've just loved since Purpose. Since <laughs> his album Purpose. I've loved. Okay. Wonderful. And finally, snow or sun? Uh, sun. It has to be sun for you. Okay. Wonderful. So you passed it all with a 10 on 10. Now let's move to some very simple questions. Your favorite pizza topping? Mushrooms. Okay, morning person or night owl? Night. Your favorite song of all time? Killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly. One of my favorites all time. How do you start a chat if you don't know somebody? Oh. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay. And last but not the least, who's the last person you have texted today? Um, probably my manager. A gong shot to be like, hey, what time is my interview again? <laughs> okay. Well, wonderful. So tell me this one as well. And now let's move to some serious questions. So Janita, welcome one more time to my radio 580. And and you're the first female artist to feature on Billboard. Canada's cover. Um, how do you feel this can positively impact or pave uh, the way for female playback singers? Um, I mean, I hope that this is going to go beyond playback singing, go beyond whatever type of singing you do. I think it's for the culture. It's just really cool um, to see a brown female artist on mm -hmm. such an iconic publication, that too on the cover. Um, so I think it's a big moment for everybody in the diaspora and like I I know growing up personally I didn't see a lot of that happening there wasn't a whole lot of representation and that too like for females mm -hmm. in the space so I just hope that more people get inspired to do to follow their dreams if that's what they want to do if music positive. is what they want to pursue yeah yeah it's, it's it's a very positive beginning it's a very positive example that you've set for a lot of female artists well, I'm still like, I'm, I'm still trying to live up to it. Like, I'm glad though. I'm really, really, really grateful for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Is there a song by another artist, uh, maybe Indian or Canadian that uh, you wish you had sung? Um, a song by a Canadian artist that mm -hmm. I, that I wish that I've or, sung. Or, or an Indian artist. There's probably a lot, but for some reason I'm blanking right now. Oh, you know, <laughs> the last time I answered, this is going to sound very random. The last uh -huh. time I answered this this question, I remember I said, you know that song? I wish I sang that song. That song is a certified banger and I sing it at my shows. And no matter what language the audience speaks, they go crazy. Like that song is in Telugu, but it has transcended all borders. And that's what I want to do with my music. I want people who don't speak the same language as me to hear my songs and still vibe. And that's what that song does. It's like an equalizer. 
And that's why I feel like I wish I sang that. I, I love that song. Like every time you listen to that song, you just want to like burst out in dancing or something. It's just Yeah, it's a vibe. So vibrant. Why don't you sing a few lines for us, please? Oh man, I'm gonna have to pull up the lyrics. I can do that, but then you might have to cut out the wait time. Uh, just just do whatever comes to your mind. <laughs> Koka 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 kadite kora kora mantu chustaru. Poti poti gaane vesti patti patti chustaru. Koka kadu gaanu gaadu kattu lo na ye mundi mi kallal lo ne anta mundi mi magabuddhi vankara buddhi u anta vama va u anta vama va. Doesn't feel as good without the beat. Tell me, Junita, how has your voice changed or evolved since you first started? singing my voice has I think evolved a lot since I first started singing I remember thinking how do I sound unique because I remember people like Udit Narayan I used to grow up on their voice and think like wow whenever I hear his voice I instantly know it's him and now people tell me finally that when they hear me in a song they know it's me and I feel like that's the biggest compliment because I've worked on my sound I've worked on uh, leaning into those things that make me me and now I have these Jonita isms that are hard to define but they come out when I sing a song and I, I really rely on those to be my identity now wonderful wonderful and Canadian audience or Indian audience like how are they different because I'm pretty sure that they're very different uh the Indian vibe is very different as such um so what audience would you pick and why oh my god um I would pick I can't pick that. I can't do that. But like, <laughs> it's also, there's too much um overlap, right? Like uh -huh. there's so many Indians in Canada. There's so many so Canadian how, Indians. How, how is the audience different? Like how's the audience uh, different in Canada? How's the audience different in India? Um, I think the one that notice that I've, sorry, the one change that I kind of notice in my performances is that I think the Indian audiences are still a little bit more hyped. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. I feel like Can Canadians are a little more chill and like right. Indians are a little more excited. Mm -hmm. So it makes for like, yeah, a tough comparison for the live shows because they're both great. Right, right. Absolutely. And um, tell us about your first break in Bollywood and how it all happened. Uh, it's when I sang for a film called Chennai Express. Um, mm -hmm. I sang a duet, which is kind of like the title song, the Chennai Chennai Express get on the train baby it was a moment for me because it was a duet with S.P. Bala Subramaniam mm -hmm. um, God bless his soul um, I was so grateful to have such a big platform to debut on you know with Shah Rukh Khan in the film Deepika Paduko and Vishal Shekhar did the music so that was a huge moment for me and like a huge platform because a lot of people discovered me from there and then through my YouTube covers and I had done Coke Studio. I got discovered by A.R. Rahman. And then the rest is history. So Great. So uh, being in Canada, was there a problem being accepted in Bollywood? Like there always is for in Bollywood, like especially the outsiders. Uh, they kind of have it tough sometimes. So how was the journey for you to have to segue this transition? I do think there's like certain preconceived um, notions that come with being from the West or being from Canada. Uh, a lot of it is I think it's kind of fun though because it's like I think they expect something because they hear where you're from but then when you deliver and then you like completely change their mind like it's so satisfying like a lot of people thought that because I speak like this when I speak English that it's going to be hard to make me sing with the right diction in languages of like Indian languages and then um, but now I mean now that they've heard me a lot of people really um, tell me that one of my best qualities is my diction so it's been a battle. It's been an uphill road gen generally, um, but it's been fulfilling. And I feel like I've taken everything as a challenge in a positive way and just kind of like, okay, well, if they say you can't do it, prove them wrong. Excellent. So any upcoming projects for you, Janita? My main project that I really want to tell you about is my EP. It's called Love Like That. And it's a very, very special project for me because it's the first time I'm releasing an EP full of my own music songs that I've contributed to where it's whether it's writing melodies obviously I've sung and one of the songs on the project which is like the first single that's dropping is also called love like that mm -hmm. and it's featuring an artist named Ali Seti who's 
incredibly talented. Um, so yeah, I think it's it's going to be a surprise for a lot of people and it's going to be something super fresh. Excellent. And I am not going to leave you without you singing a few lines for us. So you have to sing a few lines for us. What song should I sing? The Any song of your choice. Absolutely anything. Um, Maybe I'll sing a couple lines of love like that because that's the new song that you all have to listen to. <clears throat> I'll sing the chorus. It's uh, actually taken from a Kavali. Mm -hmm. And it goes, Gharunari Gavari Chahe Jo Kahe Gharunari Gavari Chahe Jo Kahe Main to piya sinena Mila Iri Wanna love like that, 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 that. Wanna love like that, 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 that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, nice little fusion. Oh Please check God. it out. It's called Love Like That. It comes out January 12th everywhere. You'll hear it on YouTube. You hear it on all platforms. So check it out. You, you are brilliant, Janika. I wasn't wrong uh, in my predictions about you. Like so sweet. That really means a lot, honestly. When people from like the YouTube days, um, yeah. I get to meet them now and they say that, it makes me feel so happy. Thank and that you. that is where I first saw you and I was like, wow, this this woman is like so stunning. Like your vocals are so clear and they mm. are so uh, real. Like that shows that that kind of projects through your voice that you've had yeah. a, a certain amount, lots of amounts of riyas practice. And absolutely practice. I, yeah, riyaz and practice for sure. I'm not really trained, but I, I work hard. I do. <laughs> so I'm glad that it pays off. Thank you so much. It shows. Thank you very much. Anything that you'd like to share with our Canadian audience? Um, I'm just grateful to be an Indian Canadian. Uh, I've really worked really hard on crafting my sound and deciding who I am as an artist. And that's a journey that'll never end. But I hope you guys like the music that I put out because it's truly authentically me. And I think that you all will be able to relate to it. Hey guys, it's me, Jonita. And I just had a lovely chat with the amazing Rashmi on the Midday Show. So check it out. Thank you very much. Thanks awesome. for your time. It was lovely talking to you, Jonita. And Likewise, have a good time. one. Yes, absolutely. We should get him. Take care. Bye-bye. Sure. Thank you. Bye.